hello friends welcome to yet another react tailwind series and uh, in this video we are going to create this beautiful site with uh, tailwind css and react so let's get started and uh, i have already installed react with this command npx create react app like this and then i will to i'll go into the directory tailwind react j uh, tailwind not tailwind css react.js i'll open it with vs code then in tailwind there are a lot of installs which we need to do to start working with tailwind that is something in tailwind which i sometimes don't like but there are a lot of installations there even for a simple project either it's a react project or html css javascript project the installs are there and there the methods are different so let us go through them so this is the tailwind site and uh, we are doing through the create react app so there are different ways to do but we are going through this create react app and for that the first thing which you need to, which you need to install is this so all the instructions are here so let me install this and then uh, we have to install something known as cracko since create react app doesn't uh, let you over at post css configuration so install cracko to able to configure tailwind css so you have to install this after that and then let me take this let me install it cracko okay so once it is installed, uh, we need to update our script uh, scripts in package.json file. Yeah, Cracker is also installed. So let us uh, update our package. Can we copy this? Yeah. Package.json is there. Yeah, package.json is there. Okay. Mm, we can okay we can do it after this test as they are telling so we'll do that now whatever it is giving error oh duplicate object it is telling okay okay yeah we need to actually remove these things okay these are we cannot have a duplicate object here so we have to remove this thing or else it will give errors okay I have removed this thing so the instruction is a bit wrong so we have to remove this middle test all, all of them are cracko so after that what we need to do we need to do a cracko.config file in the root directory so this we need to create so let me copy it come back here a root directory I'll do and then what they're telling they're telling this we have to add this to it okay so i have increased the font size also which i forgot to do okay so this i will do okay now we need to run uh, the npm npx in it so or else what are they planning to change it no 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 this this we have already this have already done so it's better to follow my own instruction okay so that is npx tail wind css init npx tail wind css init we have to do and then okay is it done yeah it is done and now as per the documentation in this uh, purge is there this we have to change tailwind config so new file will have been created this thing okay this purge we have to change like this so purge i have changed 
now in the index.css file src there is an index.css file we have to remove everything okay and we have to put something like this so the, all the default styles are removed and this tailwind styles are been done okay so this is been done now the moment of truth and we have to start our application and if everything is right it will start and pms start we have to do and uh, hoping that it will start because previous time it gave me some errors Oh, and they fixed that error the previous time I got some errors and uh, those errors are there in my article the post actually I write post for everything so in the, those uh, errors are there in the post so if you find that error you can link to that uh, article the link to that article is there in my me, article okay so let us go now you can close all these things these are not required anymore okay so as always with react we will create a components folder inside the src components folder i have created and uh, let have some files in it okay so those files are actually five files in it content dot js drop down dot js footer dot js hero dot js and navbar dot js so uh, this this files we have, will have so first what we are going to do uh, let me close this all okay uh, we have to install react router okay react router because we want to do routing we want to go from one page to another so in the index.js file we'll open the index.js file remove this uh, it's okay to keep this thing but we are we are installing router so okay this is already running so it's better to open the integrated terminal with control j and then i will install the router here itself npm install react router dom react router dom i will do and uh, let it get installed so when it get installed mm, what we do we have to wrap everything with the router okay, this app with the router we have to wrap so that is the thing which we have will do now so import browser yeah browser router as router so we're changing the name basically from react router dom i will do and now app i will wrap in the router router So this I have done. I am wrapping the router. Now, what I need to do? Now, we will go to the app.js file and we will uh, remove everything and include the naba from there. So, I am in app.js file. Remove everything. And, uh, okay, we have not yet created a naba. Oh, we will create, we will create it. So I, I'm going to import navbar actually import nav bar navbar 
like this function app return nav bar so uh, let me not save it or it will give error so the nav bar and all we will make from a very cool uh, uh, site for your tailwind only so that is known as hero icon dot depth so it has, it has got styles for uh, both html css and react so this is that one so i am getting that uh, menu styles from here so let me copy it so you have copied not as svg i don't want to copy it as svg so there is something known as click to enable copy as jsx because see they knew that uh, tailwind is uh, used with your react also a lot so that's why they have made this so i have to choose this and dark theme i like dark theme so i'll click here here and then it is copied as jsx which is a react language okay so now i will go to this nabar.js and uh, i have to rfc i have to do then rfc i did and oh 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 oh, oh. again it did like that why it is doing like this i think i have to do that back i think some bug in this site right now okay let me go back again mm. yeah 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 some bug in their side okay don't worry i have that uh, code saved somewhere okay i had the code saved in my github account so you can take it from there some issues are there which i think they will fix soon so this you can take from the github link at the end of the video it will be there so this i have done and uh, now i will save it and now i will save this also and uh, let me go back what it is giving oh <laughs> I have not even I have not even exported the app. Link is not defined. What link? Okay, now but it is telling that link is not defined okay so link i have to import from react not at all yeah see now it is showing perfectly all these things okay so now uh let, let us see whether it is responsive also yeah it is responsive okay so this is how napper is just copying some code and it was done now the thing is that uh, there is some cart is also there so we will copy that cart this shopping cart will be there okay so this we need to copy what is this okay can you see the outline icon is there okay i don't want that <laughs> let me copy it and see that whether it is working or not or not so then i will go to the hero.js r a f c e i will do and i want the link again here 
import link from react dot dom and here i am and let me come come here and paste it and again the same problem is there so let me copy my hero code also okay so this is the hero code. again i have got got it from that site only and uh, if you uh, want to see it means uh, you can get it from as i have told you can get it from my github account okay uh, so let me save it we have something known as animate bounce it will give some nice bounce also okay so now let me go to my desktop screen i don't know why i'm i am refreshing it every time okay because i have not even <laughs> added it so why it will come okay so let me add it okay so now see this big button is there with with animation is also there okay so like this yeah it is looking perfect now the next thing which we are going to do is the content dot css where is my content.css okay here is a content.css rfce i will do and uh, now the thing is that uh, i have to uh, have some images also so let me have some images which i have in this project src so this images i will have so src and create a new folder images and reveal in file explorer and uh, so i put those images okay so this uh, content again uh, content uh, content uh, i i will uh, again this is uh, we have to do that content also but we are not going to uh means uh, do it from some there we, we are going to create it on our own okay so let us also do that this is the this is the thing which we are going to code but uh, let me show that code so let's see the content code this image one and image drive uh, imported from the images folder which i have just put and then return uh, i have a menu card is there and uh, two menu cards means the same things are there and one is showing the image one uh, again all these things and the other thing the other part the center content it is showing the title and the something about it and how much it will cost similarly here we have the same thing okay let me save it and then uh, we have some styles for it like menu card content center where are the styles so I, styles we have to put in this index of css so these are the extra styles means but we are using tailwind css only but we when we give it like this we can use this apply keyword and it will be you can we can use it anywhere so apply menu card like the common styles we can do it like that generally in tailwind css you might have seen we are giving the class name here only but here we can use it in some other files also if there are some common styles are there okay so this is how it is done and now we have uh, done our uh, content also let us imp import import that content 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 i have put and i 
anything again have to refresh i don't know why it is getting refreshed or oh, see and it is showing so good this or both of these things are shown so good and uh, yeah this is like this also and it is showing nice okay so now uh, we'll use a simple footer component so add that uh, footer component so this footer is there okay so uh, let me type type this time a footer component this is very easy class name equal to flex justify center items center h16 pg black text white is there and paragraph copy right from how add copy okay add copy will come agmatic is the company name all rights reserved okay so this is done save it and now i add add the footer again here okay so again i'll come here footer Footer, footer, footer is there, and let me see if it has come. Ah, yeah, it have come, and see it completes. It completes our app, and it is looking nice and it is completed okay so this is this is our simple app which has been done now and uh, you can have a lot of other things maybe change change this and all so hope you liked it the combination of react and tail if you like the content on my site please give so give me a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel thank you